Ya udah. None other than Liam from Liam's got a phone call if anyone knows that song. Samwise Gamgee was Liam. Um, and that was the last time he was ever going to play with us. Um, is there anything else you'd like to know about? Yeah, that's that song. Cool. All right. No, I don't think so. What's your name? Suna. Uh, hi. Uh, Oh, you're soliciting us, I see. Uh, so, you've got a van, out, like a nondescript van out back, right? And all supposed to get in. Yeah. Okay, we'll go. We'll put it on the schedule, what's it? Elizabeth? I wanted to ask, uh, I was almost curious how much input of you comes into the writing of the script. I mean, how much you input into your shows, or do you just act the lines? that they got somebody else's writing, that would be very <laughs> This This actually is one of my favorite things about Starkid, and I like it so much, is that it very much is a collaboration, uh, and a lot of times parts are written for us, which is nice if you're an actor. Um, and definitely the structure and you know the words and the jokes all come from the writers, and that's really the framework around which we base everything. That's really incredible. I'm always very grateful to work with like such good material. But once we get into rehearsal, there's a very, very good atmosphere of improvisation and fun, and a lot of stuff that you end up seeing does come out of the rehearsal process where we improvise, or a lot of times the writers or directors will see something and take it in a slightly different direction that's on the script, and that'll end up there. And then a good half of Barry Potter Musical is probably made up because we didn't know our lines. So. Made up. Made, made up. Yeah. Improvise. Yeah, there's this funny thing we were talking about it at uh, something we did the other day, and Dylan Saunders was talking about the final scene in a Harry Potter musical that he had where uh, he's, he's with Harry. It's the train sequence. And he's in the train sequence. And it was this long scene that he had with Harry where he describes him all the stuff, and Dylan just didn't learn his lines, so we went, well, I make a, just a few bullet notes of all the things I need to say, and that's how he read it in this show. He went, well, was, this is all you need to know that's important. And he, that's how he ended up doing the scene. <laughs> Shows Dumbledore is kind of like an idiot. And, and I mean, just a little bit, right? And, like, he's lovable, but he's like, oh. And so uh, it's funny because it, it comes across as like a written in joke where it's like, oh, you didn't know what he was going to talk about. But it was just dumb. <laughs> and of course, Darren never knows any of his lines. <laughs> well, that has been mentioned. Yeah, let's make that clear. <laughs> All right, and everyone with a question, introduce your name and tell us where you're from. Okay, uh, my name is Corinna, and I'm from Germany. And my question is to all of you who have a special voice in your musical. Is this voice made by you, or is it a group decision? And do you make experiments on voices to find the right one for your character? <laughs> um, so when we get the scripts, um, very often, because the scripts have been developed, uh, obviously, before we get them, um, the Lang brothers in particular like to make um, gross over-exaggerations about what our voices sound like. And so, very often, they will kind of do their impression of us doing a character. It's like a like four-fold impression. And so by the time we get it, it's like us trying to impersonate them, impersonating us, doing the impersonation of a character. <laughs> um, and then we just do our own thing. Um, yeah, I've done a bunch of voices, and uh, yeah. pretty much <clears throat> Voldemort was... Matt and I worked on it for the first week of rehearsal, and on the first or second day, we were like, he should sound like Cobra Commander. <laughs> so that's all it is. It's me doing a Cobra Commander impersonation. <laughs> sort of that. Uh, and then Umbridge was also sort of given to me a little bit. 
where it was this like voice that they had, which was not quite the one that I did, but it was like pretty much given to me, and then I made it a little bit more like Cartman. Um, and, and my friend Nico. It's yeah. like pretty much an impersonation of my friend in a voice. And then, um, and Matt, like with the Snape voice, Matt came to me and was like, I think Snape should sort of have like a Liverpool accent on this. <laughs> I was doing this. And so we tried that, but it didn't quite work. And so we kind of took that. We went from up here and just went down a little bit. <laughs> so you end up somewhere, they give us an idea, and we have an idea, and somewhere in the middle, you get the crazy weird voice. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and actually, the Taz voice is how Lauren really sounds. <laughs> this is her fake voice. Yeah. <laughs> Next question, all right. Hi, my name is Susan. I'm from the Netherlands. Uh, we just keep running in. Sorry for that. Uh, my question was, if there was any, uh, is there a character of one of the other star pieces you would have really loved to play? I don't know if the question's been done. Each up, like someone else's yes. character. Let's go down the line. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I always thought it would be really fun in me and my to switch roles with Joe. If we eat, if we switch roles and then Joe played the boy and then I played your dick. You can switch every other night, like do it repertory. Exactly. It's like that National Theater production of Frankenstein. Is it? It's really good. Um, but it alternating roles as the same things. Oh, cool misfits back there, by the way. Anyhow, so yeah, I always thought that'd be pretty fun. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, that's dope. It's a great show. Um, uh, yeah, you should say the same thing. Okay. I had always thought about that. Uh, um, mine is also for me and my dick. I always wanted to play either the old Snatch or the Big T. Yeah. yeah, that's what mine would have been, was uh, the old Snatch. I would have loved to play that. Oh man, I don't know. The, I guess the one, one, that, one part that I really loved, and I know it was really hard to do, but I thought it would be really fun to do, was Mega Girl. I, I think it's so fun to be a yeah. robot. <laughs> um, Mama Umbridge would have been really fun. Ah, yeah. I would have loved to have been sweet too. And I regret not auditioning for it. Aww. That was good. Jeff is so good. Um, let's see. I, I guess, uh... Um... Uh... Yeah. Uh... I could do whatever I want, so... Yeah. No, no. Um... I guess in a very Potter musical, I, um... Uh, would have liked to have been uh, the goat. <laughs> the goat. The goat. <laughs> All right, next question.